Another big winner last night, public advocate Jumani Williams. He has been reelected to another term. Yeah, he joins us now live out on the streets of New York already. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I love coming out day after election to thank voters. And always a pleasure to be on the show. All right. Well, you are part of a trifecta of black men elected to New York City leadership with Eric Adams as mayor, Alvin Bragg as Manhattan DA. What kind of impact do you think this will have on the city? Well, you always want to have a, a diversity amongst uh, a lot of spectrums of, of uh, race, uh, of gender, of religion, and of thought. Uh, and people should see themselves in leadership mm -hmm. and the perspectives that they bring are very important. It is important, obviously, right? And that is, that's just really what it goes to show you the melting pot that is New York City, right? And so what is for you in your second term as public advocate, the most pressing issue facing New Yorkers that you want to address as public advocate? Well, even though this is my fifth election in two years, it's actually just my first full term, which is uh, funny oh, right, enough. Right, right. Uh, but, mm -hmm. but, you know, I think public safety is one of the biggest issues on people's minds, and it's something that we can't ignore. It's something that we can't address because we had success from about 2010 to 2018, and we have to go back to that success. Uh, but in order to do that, we also have to make sure that people have what they need. And so you hear a lot of people speaking about the need for housing, mental health, education access to jobs, access to quality food. Um, people are looking for those things, and they're looking for government to assist uh, where they can. And I think we've been failing on that for some time. Yeah, just under 60 days, we will have a new mayor. What do you think will be different under an Adams administration? How will it affect your role as public advocate? Well, you know, I have a great relationship uh, with uh, the, the incoming mayor. I always say, uh, regardless of the mayor, my job is not to work with or uh, work against. My job is to work for the people of the city. When that's happening, you want to work along with the mayor. When it's not, then you have to hold them accountable. Uh, but thankfully, we have some things in common, working around uh, gun violence in particular, is a place we work together. When we dealt with the abuses of Stop Question Frisk, uh, he was right there in the courtroom fighting against it. So there's a lot of commonality. Um, mm -hmm. I hope is that is what we can focus on as we come into the year. So the last time you were here, uh, Mr. Public Advocate, you were talking <laughs> about an announcement that you were expecting to make in a couple of days, and then you dropped some video on social media. You filed some papers to run for governor. Um, so when is that official announcement coming that you are running for governor, or is it just expected that that's what's happening with the steps you're taking? No, we're, we're closing our, our exploratory committee in the coming days. Very seriously, we'll be making an announcement, uh, but I've tried to make it as clear as possible uh, which direction we're moving in, and we're going to make that announcement really soon. Right, uh, well, but I'm the, right yeah. now just so thankful uh, to be reelected. And well, just to be very clear, with that video, you know me, I'm, I, I'll push for this. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> with that video, the, the direction is you're running. Well, that video is actually from 2018 uh, when I ran for lieutenant governor. I was just pointing out that many of the issues are very much the same, and so we're very happy with uh, the responses we've been getting. Uh, when we moved around the state, uh, but we'll be making an announcement soon, I assure you. Well, you made it very clear that you are working for the people of New York City. So how will you be able to handle a campaign and continue in your role as public advocate? Well, you know, when I uh, ran for public advocate, I was in the council. When I ran uh, for lieutenant governor, I was in the council. I was still able uh, to do the job and get legislation passed and, and get funds to the uh, places that are needed. Uh, if we uh, make an announcement that we're running, we'll do the same. First yeah. and foremost will be the job that I was just elected to. Uh, while we're doing that, uh, if we're going to run, uh, we're going to run hard. Yeah, understood, sir. And, and what effect does that announcement at all have that the state attorney general, Letitia James, is running? Will that have any impact on your future plans? You've worked hand in hand with her along, uh, among the years. Uh, the short answer is it doesn't have a, a, any impact. I've said that before. Mm -hmm. We're running for something, uh, not against anyone at the moment. And uh, whoever comes in and out doesn't affect our announcement. I look forward to continue working uh, with the attorney general. He's doing a pretty good job as attorney general. We have a long term relationship as well. Uh, public advocate Jumani Williams, congratulations. Thanks for being here the morning after. Is it cold out? I mean, you, you got a scarf, say, you got a hat, you go got get a jacket. Warm. <laughs> yeah, By Byron recognizes it. Yeah, it's, it's a bit nippy out here. Uh, <laughs> Well, winter, winter is care. It came, it came kind of suddenly. But <laughs> All right. We'll, well we're, we're going to let you go so you can go warm up somewhere. All Grab right. yourself a cup Thank of coffee. You, peace and blessings. All right. Thank Congrats you very much. again.